In this tutorial, we will generate a barcode in Visual Basic.net using barcode fonts and the .NET Assembly barcode font encoder. The tutorial assumes that the barcode fonts are installed. In this example, I will create a new Windows Forms project and name it Create Barcode. Because we're going to add a few items to the form, let's go ahead and expand it. Now that our form is set up, save the project. To generate scannable barcodes using fonts, there is a requirement to encode or format data using a font tool. Download the IDAutomation.NET assembly and copy it to your project. In the download, we include three DLLs. In this example, we will work with the IDAutomation.NET assembly file to generate Code 39 and Code 128 barcodes. There are also files to encode data for Databar and USPS Intelligent Mail. Copy the file to your project directory. Create a reference to the assembly. In the Solution Explorer, Right-click References, Add Reference, Browse, and select the IDAutomation.NET Assembly DLL. Access Code View and create an object of the Font Encoder class. Here, we're simply naming the button that will perform the encoding. The first text box is where we will input the data. The second text box will display the encoded data. The third text box will display the encoded data with the barcode font applied. In button create, we have placed code that will take the data to encode and pass it to the code39 function. The result will be displayed in the encoded text text box. Run the project. Enter data into the data to encode text box. It will place the encoded text into the second text box. Access the code. In this example, let's encode the data and apply the font to our final text box. Because this is a demonstration, I will take the encoded text and set it to the barcode text box. On this line, we can set the text barcode to a barcode font by initializing the font using the ID Automation HC39 font. Run the project. Enter a value and choose Create Barcode. The first text box contains the original data. The second is the data encoded and the third is the data encoded with the barcode font applied. Return to the code and modify the font encoder symbology to encode data for other barcode types.
Let's create a code 128 barcode. 